two, one, yo, pulling, ho, fro, no, lo, lo. Anyway, ayo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Lil Lee TV, and y'all see, we got the Houston Rockets, my league. I can't even my gym because you can't upload the real draft class, as you can see, right? Yes. Hey, where's the um? Where's the guy that got arrested? Hey, where you at, Lonzo? I mean, Leangelo. They took you out of the draft. Ah ha ha. Anyway, y'all. What up? <coughs> had a sneeze, but you know, you haven't heard the mellow arrested. Yeah, GG. But anyway, we got a team right here. Um, this is how I wanna. What? I saved the lineup. I did not want this. And you guys, as you can see, um, we got a player in that said he was joining back the NBA and Chris Bosh right here. Um, so yeah, this should not be like this. I literally just did the lineup and everything else. Oh, I know what happened. Oh, yeah, I remember. I'll do the line of after. Well, I remember the line. I remember how it went. Let me just subtract all these minutes. For our starters, this is how it went. It went 37, 35. He got 30. Because I just recently did it. He got 30. He got 32. Two. No, he got 33. Um, and the six man got got 17. Um, he got no, 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 no. He did not get that. Was it? I don't think it was an A. Well, no, Ariza. There we go. There we go. And Ariza got 15. Next player in line got 13. And it was Nini. It was Nini at 13. Hey, where's Nini? Nene. Um, but Nene had 13. Then it was a shooting guard and a point guard, point guard. And a shooting guard that had 10, 12. There we go. Um... And then off the bench, we had a point guard and Weber. See, oh, I got a great memory. Four and four and two. There we go. All right, so that's the lineup. Um, so, yeah, y'all. Um, now I have to work on this, of course. Harden, then Paul, then I'd say Gordon. Yeah, then I'd say you're going. He's kind of small for the small forward. Tell me what you guys think about that. I mean, he's only 6'4 at small forward. He's smaller than James Harden at the shooting guard position. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, help defense. Um, What, what should we do for help defense? Um, Yeah, we'll help. I'll give it a 37. Run plays. 85. The zone. Um, Bench death. Bench utilization. Not a performance, yeah. And we actually got some talks with um, power forward Ryan Anderson that he did not want to be a bench player, but we gave him six man. He said he might be able to accept it. But Chris Boss said he would be okay playing a bench role. So we might have to switch these two at some time, um, or we may have, have to trade um, Ryan Anderson. So Ryan Anderson, suspect, <laughs> basically suspect. So, yeah, Ryan Anderson, sit down, be humble, y'all, sit down, play through stars, should we really do that? No, get shooters open, average, limit, transition, or crash, offense, for glass, both, neutral, play physical, running transition, or crash, defense, for glass, both. There we go. So, guys, we're basically going to hop into first game against the Warriors. That's going to be a pretty hard game, as you can see. There we go. 
got Harden. I mean, not Harden. Bruh. We got um Chris Bosh on the contract. 5.76 million dollars. Um, so we're basically gonna hop into a scrimmage for our team right here. Um, we're going to 21 threes and twos, full court. Um, and yeah, we're just basically running through how our team is going to reform and how we're gonna do for this season. Um, our first game against the Warriors. That's gonna be a pretty hard game. Um, for us to have this young team. But you see Chris Paul going up against the center. With a spin move, passing it out. Chris Bosh could have shot that, but he did not want to. Passing over. Eric Gordon wide open. I <clears throat> see those are the shots that we cannot be missing right there. Like you're wide open, you have to take advantage of that wide open shot. You're just right there, wide open. You gotta take advantage of the, that at all times. But anyway, we got Brian Anderson not taking advantage of his shots. It's feeling shaky at the start of this little practice. And I find Chris Bosch back out. And, yeah, we need to get our chemistry flowing because this is not looking good so far for us. And Brown coming down the court, Bobby Brown. Lost Beverly for Chris Paul. I mean, I, I'll take it. Then we moved Tucker to... Um, shooting guard, because I feel like he would fit shooting guard better than Ariza, even though Ariza only went down two overalls when we moved him to shooting guard, and Tucker went down four in overalls, we still moved Tucker to shooting guard. Um, but the beard. He should win MVP this season. I'm really feeling MVP for him. Great season. Mainly, bang bang, Chris Paul missing the three. Mainly because of well, Chris Paul's here. He averaged less assists. But besides that, everything should be normal. He might be pretty close with Kawhi this season or something. But besides that, I think he should go ahead and win the MVP award. And Russell, he has way too many people around him to be doing it all, taking it all over like last season. And there we go, Eric Gordon. That's what we usually see from Eric Gordon. The first score of for our team here is limitless range shot by Eric Gordon, our new small forward at only 6'4". Um, tell, tell me what you guys think about a 6'4 small forward. Um, anyway, we see Ryan Anderson down in that paint. Yeah, let's run it. Come on, let's run it. Chris Bosh, too weak to go ahead and stop Ryan Anderson when he was posting up right there. They go ahead and give it to Harden, but Harden says, nah, give it to Paul. And here's the ISO. Here's the ISO by Harden. Here's what he does. Harden misses. That wasn't a good um, ISO by James Harden right there. We need to set him up for a step back. Show me a step back. Yeah. We need to set him up for a little step back. But Harden on Brown right here. Locking him up. He's not going anywhere. What are you doing? He's locking you up. That's a brick. No way. And throwing it down court. Good throw by the center. Capella. Those are the kind of passes we need, and we need you in the paint getting boards. I feel like Capella is a great center for us. We also have bird rights on him, so it'll be pretty cool and easy to keep him on the team. Um, and Eric Gordon lets Teresa have a wide open three. That is not good. Um, anyway, James Harden. No backcourts. Going in, stepping back out. Step back. He was not ready for that. Even though James Harden missed, he created a lot of space for himself um, during that step back. And that's what we like to see because that gives him a lot of space and opportunity to shoot. And that will be nice to use against the Warriors. So we really need to work on that. But, I mean, when you get a wide open three like that, you need to take it. Um, James Harden misses the three right there. And Bobby Brown coming down the court on Chris Paul. And he gets it to go down. I don't think my starting, starting five, my crazy starting five, Great starting five, maybe the best starting five in the league. Should be losing to the bench. I mean, maybe our bench is just that great. Um, we'll see against the Warriors. But anyway, Tucker wide open right there. We got we got a pick up right there. But J James Harden has to go and pick up on Brown because of that switch. And Brown goes ahead and misses. 
but um, Chris Bosh is too weak in that paint. I mean, we might have to start Brian Anderson, but oh, showing himself. James Harden gets a block along with bang, along with the three on the other end, but Chris Bosh with the block and Chris Paul on the other end with the three. The Chris connection. And we get a jump right there. Reza gets him to jump. Tucker wide open from the three. You cannot allow that to happen. It's only 14-8, but it feels a lot like a lot more for the bench team. And look at that. That's a step back. That's the creation we need. Even though he missed, that's the type of space you need to create. That was a dumb shot. Well, a hard shot to shoot. It was pretty open, though. Um, And Capella running the other end. They were trying to find Capella, but they could not. Oh, and he gets some reaching. He gets some reaching. He steps back for the three. Bang! Wow. Okay. James Harden misses that right there. Bobby Brown going in the paint. But P.J. Tucker's wide open for three. He misses. So, Chris Paul getting the board. Passing over to James in the corner. Wide open. That should be in. And it is. 11 to 14. This is awesome. Bobby Brown getting Chris Paul to reach on him right there. Um, and if we if we can go back to James Harden two plays ago, right in this exact spot, he got a player to reach. This is how it went, as you can see. Hold on, let's look at this real quick. Was it a reach or an ankle breaker? Feel like that was an ankle breaker. Yep, James Harden out here breaking ankles. Chris Bosch trying to reach on him right there. That wasn't a great decision, but Ryan Anderson he didn't have the speed or stamina to get past him at that moment. And look at that easy pass. Ryan Anderson, he gets a layup. He shoots a layup. Like, that. that's not hard at all. James Harden, he's feeling it. He's feeling it. Pulling up. He misses it, though. And I think that might be a Game that might be game if they can score right here, but they can't. James Harden with the steal, um, with the spin move over to the power forward that can shoot back to him again. Bang! Let's go, Rockets. Chris Bosch goes ahead and tries his hezzy up, try to get his hezzy going on Ryan Anderson, showing him, Yeah, I'm the starter now. Showing, telling him that he's going to be the starter. Um, that might be a hard situation for me to manage. Mike D'Antoni told me just try your best and try to keep both of them on this team. And, I mean, the only solution to keep both of them on the team is to start Ryan Anderson. But I don't know if that will help the team's success. Um, he might have to, or trade him. That's the only thing. He wants me to try and keep both of them because they're very great assets that can also shoot. And they could be very valuable off the bench. So, yeah. Any one of them would be valuable off the bench. But there we go. James Harden stepping back. Pulling up. And he misses it right there. Um, That might be game for the starters. As P.J. Tucker pulls up for a three and he misses. And James Harden gets a block right there. Clint Capella in the paint. Gets a rebound. Going over. And he does throw it up in PJ's face. Very contested. Um, So, I mean, Harden going off. Harden is going off in this game. He is the main scorer. He is doing his job. We're going to see who didn't do their job and let many, most of the bench people score. And we think it's going to go down Ryan Anderson. It does. Chris Boss anticipates it, but he jumps in the air. Um, yeah. He got him with a few fakes. He knew he was old. and I mean, he's being used easily. He's being used as a disadvantage easily. And here, they're trying to get it over to Harden. They're telling, coach is telling him not to let James shoot it for the bench. And Capella is down court trying to stop him from scoring right here. And that is game over. And tradition is for the losing team to go ahead and shoot a half-court shot. James Harden. Throwing up the half court. Anyway, we're going to count off one miss, one three for him. Three for 11 and one for five. 
I really thought it was going off. So Harden was the downfall. One for three. They weren't as efficient. They didn't have their team like going. But I'm in the bench. They're probably all used to each other. He was a reserve last year. He was on the Suns last year. He was a starter last year. He was a starter last year. And bench player, but no other bench players around him. So one for four, three for six, three for five, three for five. Um, the fact, the thing that gave the away team the little edge was them spreading the ball because Harden, I mean, yeah, this cannot be happening. This was happening. It's near what Harden did, but they passed the ball and get, they got it to other people so they would have the opportunity to get a great chance at a score. And P.J. Tucker, he really did his thing when he was open. Um, he got plenty of open shots. Um, Harden, you got to work on that, work on your defense it. They really give him Bosh some space right there. I mean, maybe if Harden would have passed, um, maybe they could have won. Because we're going to 25 now. The bench challenge the starters to go to 25. That happens a lot. Whoever wins. Unless it's like a 10-point blowout. Then it's like, no. But here we go. Chris Bosh again. We can't have one guy shooting, and that's what happens when they get in a rhythm. You have to still pass the ball around. I mean, that person that's on fire, he can shoot a bit more, but you still have to pass that rock around to make sure we're staying efficient, over to Harden, pump faking, and stepping back right there. That's in, that's Harden. It's Harden to step back. Anyway, Chris Boskin and that paint going up, putting it in. I mean, I think we might have to give the starting position to Ryan Anderson to keep him on this team. I really don't want to do trade, uh, try to put him on the trade block right now because that would be bad for our team. We just started the season, and we would start out bad in chemistry. I mean, it would get us off to a bad start. So I really want us to have a nice, great start, start the season off. I just really wanted Chris Bosh because he renounced that he would be back in the NBA. But anyway, you guys, that's going to be it for this little um episode the first ever episode of our new Rockets, my league. So, tell me you guys um, are looking forward to this. And first game against the Warriors will be coming up very, very soon. Um, so, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. It's been your boy, Lil Elite TV, signing out.